Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for April the 1st. Today is the date in 1536 of a very, very long letter that the Imperial Ambassador Eustace Chapuy wrote to Charles V, giving so much news of the English court, which was about to play out one of its most macabre events with the accusations against Anne Boleyn. In the letter, Chapuy talks about Jane Seymour. He also gives the impression that he thinks Anne Boleyn will be replaced as queen. And we also get some insight into Thomas Cromwell's thinking. Part of the letter reads, I called on Cromwell and told him that I had purposely avoided visiting him many a time for fear of arousing his royal mistress's suspicions, owing to the reasons he himself had explained to me. I recollected very well his telling me that she, Anne Boleyn, would like to see his head off his shoulders. Such a threat, I said, was constantly before my eyes, causing me great care and anxiety, and I sincerely wished him a more gracious mistress than she was, one more grateful for the immense services he had rendered the king. He ought to take care not to offend her or over-irritate her, or else he must renounce all hope of that perfect reconciliation which we both were trying to bring about. I therefore begged and entreated him in such an event to guard against her attacks more effectually than the Cardinal Wolsey had done, which I hoped his dexterity and prudence would be able to accomplish. If it were true, as I had been told that the king his master was now thinking of a fresh marriage, that would no doubt be the way of preserving him, Cromwell, from many inconveniences, and likewise the best thing for the king to do, disappointed as he had hitherto been of male issue. In this letter, we also learn about a very famous event with Jane Seymour. Some days ago, the king being here in London and the young Miss Seymour to whom he is paying court at Greenwich, he sent her a purse full of sovereigns, together with a letter, and that the young damsel to whom he is paying court after respectfully kissing the letter returned it to the messenger without opening it, and then falling on her knees, begged the royal messenger to entreat the king in her name to consider that she was a well-born damsel, the daughter of a good and honorable parent without blame or reproach of any kind, and there was no treasure in this world that she valued as much as her honor, and on no account would she lose it, even if she were to die a thousand deaths. That if the king wished to make her a present of money, she requested him to reserve it for such a time as God would be pleased to send her some advantageous marriage. Well played, Jane Seymour. Well played. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.